welcome to our VE video. My name is Kay Drapshow and I'm an Associate Professor in Biosystems Engineering. Our students get asked a lot, what is it that Biosystems Engineers do? So a few of them got together to try to answer that question. So come on inside and see what they came up with. Hi, I'm Justin Montandi and I'm a graduate student in Biosystems Engineering. In BE, we study ways to use algae for waste treatment, carbon sequestration, and biodiesel production. Because as of right now, there's only one planet that can support human life. Everybody is aware of this, but that hasn't changed the fact that both in the past and currently, human activities have caused myriad environmental problems that have impact, impacted our health and the health of our ecosystem. The pollution of the air, water, and lands, the depletion of our Earth's natural resources to meet our short-term needs, and global climate change are all examples of problems that desperately need solutions. The lack of sustainable energy sources, design methods, and processing techniques have led to many of these problems. The human population is continuing to increase rapidly, making it absolutely imperative that we find sustainable solutions to support the needs of the growing population, while minimizing the harm they cause to the Earth and its resources. Biosystems Engineer is a study that provides tools and knowledge necessary to solve these problems. Students learn how to design and analyze the systems and structures and processes that they need to survive, while at the same time lessening the negative effects that they have on the environment. Biosystems Engineers do this by applying engineering design and analysis to biological systems and incorporate fundamental biological principles into engineering design. Hi, I'm Keelan Cassie and I'm a biosystems engineer. Hi, I'm Andrew Park. I'm a senior in biosystems engineering from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Creating useful products out of waste is one way to minimize our impact on the environment. Biosystems engineers at Clemson are researching the production of hydrogen using waste beaches and fruit juice. As bacteria ferment these wastes, they produce hydrogen. We can capture this hydrogen and use it as a biofuel. This is an example of a sustainable bioprocess. We're taking things that would normally just be thrown away and using them to produce a fuel that is more environmentally friendly than oil. By using our knowledge of biological systems, we're able to get what we need while causing minimal harm to the environment. The broth that is left over after the hydrogen is produced can even be used in microbial fuel cells to produce electricity. Microbial fuel cells are bioreactors that are able to capture the electrons that are processed by microorganisms while they're making their own energy. We use this capture flow of electrons to produce electricity. And again, we're using what would normally be thrown away to create a useful product. As sophomores in biosystems engineering, we designed and fabricated microbial fuel cells in one of our classes. I'm Stacy Lowell and I'm a senior biosystems engineer. Hi, my name is Lauren Staples and I'm a senior in biosystems engineering and for one of our course requirements we have to take a heat transfer class where we learn the fundamentals of heat transfer. At the end we get to choose a project and I got to choose to do a solar water panel. Um, this is where we capture energy from the sun and we use it to heat, or heat, to heat water. A uh, solar water panel such as this can be used um, on homes to, uh, to capture energy, to lower costs and to be more environmentally friendly. This could also be upscaled to use in industry. My name is Mary Catherine Watson and I'm a graduate student in biosystems engineering. As the population continues to increase, so does our need for houses, stores, and other buildings to support this growing population. It's important to design these in a sustainable manner. That is, in a way that provides for our necessities while causing minimal long-term damage to the environment. Biosystems engineers are researching effective and sustainable engineering methods to deal with all of the stormwater problems that arise from development of South Carolina coasts, like the decrease in water quality of rivers and streams due to sediment, chemicals, and other damaging substances that are washed into them and the instability of stream channels. They're trying to find ways to protect and enhance the ecological services provided by streams and the land surrounding them. They want to meet the needs of humans and the needs of the environment while causing minimal impact on both systems. Hey, I'm Christian and I'm a PhD student in Biosystems Engineering. Many interesting and exciting career opportunities are available in this fast-growing field. Recent graduates of the program have found fulfilling and productive industry positions in a wide array of fields such as biofuels production and pharmaceutical production, environmental design, and environmental protection with government agencies like EPA and DHEC. Many students have also been recruited by graduate schools in biosystems, environmental, and biomedical engineering at prestigious universities such as Vanderbilt, Stanford, and Georgia Tech. Be a B -B.